Hey guys, we're unboxing the April 2022 Keto Crate right after this. unboxing of the keto crate don't forget you can use the link in the description box of this video to get a discount on your very first keto crate or you can stick around to the end to learn how you can be entered into a drawing to win your very own April keto crate I mean it's another light one but as we have found out in the past light on weight does not mean light on snacks or light on flavor so let's go let's get right into it more literature from green chef we have, oh, I don't think we have any Keto Crate literature unless they did that thing where they hit it on the bottom again. But there is a placard from K's Snacks That Amaze. So I'm assuming that some K's Snacks That Amaze are gonna be in this Keto Crate, but no little accordion fold out thing, which once again, it could be on the bottom, but you know what that means? Quicker we get to the snacks. So let's go. First, oh God. We have a Mission Meats beef bar, okay? So, okay, you guys know I'm not a fan of meat sticks, but I actually prefer bars to sticks better. It's just a texture thing. So hopefully I like this. This is Mission Meats beef bar, tasty original, gluten-free, no MSG, made with 100% grass-fed beef, no nitrates or nitrites, beef, salt, encapsulated citric acid, celery powder, and then just a bunch of spices. So that is pretty clean. It does not have the nutritional information. It says, please visit missionmeats.co to find the nutritional information. I mean, there's probably one to two grams of carbs in this thing, you know, 90 to 110 calories. It's like the same with all beef sticks. So I know my husband will be very, very excited to try Mission Meats. Oh my gosh. Ha. Ah. Mmm. Legendary foods, toaster pastries, hot fudge sundae. You guys, I'm gonna tell you this, the folks at Legendary Foods were so kind enough to send me an awesome box of snacks that I have a review video for, it'll be out sometime, right? But they sent me a ton of these toaster pastries, which are my very favorite thing ever, but they did not send this flavor. I remember looking on the packaging, like, you know, that they sent being like, oh, it looks like there's some other color packaging here that I don't have. And hot fudge sundae, was one of them. And I was like, man, if there was another one I'd like to try, it would be this one. So I am so excited. I mean, I, look, I had a ton of the birthday cakes, a ton of the strawberries, like the ones that I know I love, but I have not had this flavor before, so I am very excited. Serving size, one pastry. There are 180 calories, eight grams of fat, 24 total carbs, seven fiber, 12 erythritol. That sounds like five net carbs, and then 20 grams of protein. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. I am so excited. It says that you can remove from the wrapper and microwave on low for 10 seconds. Um, I'm not going to do that. You, I love dry room temperature toaster pastries. Might I tell you, Richard, my husband, did not read the section where they said remove from wrapper. He literally just cut the end off like to give it a vent. He put this in the microwave. Needless to say, it was two seconds before the whole thing started buzzing, like electrocuting, before he was like, you can't, you can't microwave these in the package? No, and you never have been able to, like, no. But, you know, crisis averted. I'm so excited to get to try this flavor. See, the Keto Crate's delivering already. Oh my gosh. Mmm, monk pack? What? Hmm. Keto granola bar, one of my favorite products, one of my favorite flavors, coconut cocoa chip. Yes, please. Oh my goodness. So for one bar, 140 calories, 13 grams of fat, 12 total carbs, four fiber, five and a half allulose, 0.5 glycerin. What is that? Two net carbs? And then four grams of protein. Uh, let me see. Yep, two net carbs. Nailed it. I mean, monk pack is one of my favorites. I tried it for the first time in a keto crate uh, and it's really just been one of my favorite things to see ever since then. So this is gonna be great. 
Oh, good to go chocolatey chip blondies. Oh my gosh, this keto crate is great. It's a great crate. So we saw these little cookie mounds. That's what I'm gonna call it. We, call, we saw these little cookie mounds in a keto crate a couple of months ago and they're absolutely delicious. I don't remember if we had this flavor or another flavor, but these are gonna be absolutely wonderful. So serving size one pouch, which I think there are two mounds per pouch, 160 calories, 13 grams of fat, 18 total carbs, eight fiber and five erythritol. Is that five net carbs? And then five grams of protein. Let me see what they, if they have the net carbs on the package. I don't care. Oh, no, I don't see it. But regardless, excellent. Okay, next. Aha, here we have K's Snacks That Amaze, Cheddar Chipotle Cheese Bites. And I can already see there are, we got two different kind of cases this time. I'm excited about that. This is Cheddar Chipotle Cheese Bites. These are uh, cheese bites uh, and I guess like cashews and pecan. So it's like a, a nut and cheese mix. Um, I am liking the packaging. It's very thick and substantial. Uh, okay, so for one pack of these, it's going to be 170 calories, 13 grams of fat, and two total carbs and 10 grams of protein. Uh, and then for one pack of this, it's gonna be 270 calories. Jeez Louise. Um, and it's probably because of all the nuts. Uh, and 24 grams of fat, seven total carb, two fiber, so that's five net carbs, and then nine grams of protein. Yeah, I mean, the cashews are going to put those net carbs up there anytime. Cashews are my favorite nut, but they're also the highest in carbs. Um, but regardless, I mean, I've never heard of this brand. I'm excited to try it. Kudos to the Keto Crate for delivering me things I've never heard of. But I have heard of, boop, high low life. No wonder this thing is so light. It's filled with puffs of air. So yes, these are the high low life cheddar snack puffs. These are the fiery hot snack puffs. I mean, they must have had some left over from like two months ago because I swear we just had these, but regardless, they were delicious then. They're gonna be delicious now. Serving size, one bag, one per container, 130 calories, seven grams of fat, five total carbs in two fiber. So that's three net carbs and that's the same for both of them. And then 12 grams of protein. So yeah, I mean, you got cheesy, you got spicy and cheesy. There, I mean, literally, you can't go wrong here. Okay, oh my gosh. Oh, is this Jimmy Pudding, you guys? The, the first time I ever tried Jimmy Pudding was for Keto Palooza. Shout out to Keto Palooza. You guys, if you wanna come join us in Louisville, Kentucky this year, uh, click the link in the description so that you can come to us in Louisville, Kentucky, September 30th through October 2nd to Keto Palooza, sponsored by Keto Chow. Um, but Jimmy, who makes the bars, was one of the companies that uh, we reached out to for swag bags. Our swag bags at Keto Palooza are legendary. Get in the comments below if you know anything about that Keto Palooza swag bag. Uh, and so they actually gave us newly released, they weren't even released to the public yet, but they gave us Jimmy Puddings to try. They're delicious. And, and then that was just the chocolate one. This is fudge peanut butter pudding? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Like, oh, oh, now bring me some Jimmy Pudding. That is what I'm excited about. Okay, so nutrition fact, one cup. There are 250 calories, 19 grams of fat, 43 total carbs, Lord Jesus, Jimmy. Uh, and then 18 grams of fiber, seven sugar alcohol, and four grams of protein. Okay, so there must be allulose. Yeah, there's 13 grams of allulose. This whole thing is five net carbs, but like 40 something total carbs. Whoa, that's a lot. This is worth it though. You, Jimmy Pudding once a month, totally worth it. And I'm going to be very excited to try the peanut or the fudge peanut butter pudding. Oh, <laughs> yay. Oh, oh, look at this. 
we have high key wafers. They're like those vanilla wafers that we enjoyed as children. Um, this is, yeah, just like a look of vanilla biscuit cookie, right? Uh, so for nutrition facts, serving two per container, but I love how they give you both the serving and the container size because who are they kidding? We're eating all of it. Uh, and then we have per container, 250 calories, 22 grams of fat, 30 total carbs, and 10 fiber, and 18 erythritol. Is that two net carbs for this entire thing? What? That's crazy. Uh, and then nine grams of protein. Like, yeah. <laughs> On the packaging, it says you've been away for too long. Like, you've been away for too long. Oh, gosh. I love food puns. Um, I have nothing but the highest of expectations for this. This is going to be amazing. In the packaging, you guys, obsessed. Oh my gosh. It is only appropriate that we end on my favorite savory item of all time. Normally, I would be upset to end on a savory item, but when it is porking good, salted butter pork rinds, we can end there any day. This is my favorite pork rind on the market. Not only do I love porking good, like pretty much all their flavors are dope, but this particular flavor, oh, salted butter. It tastes just like popcorn. Spoiler alert, tastes just like popcorn. And I love it and oh, I'm so excited, wow. I haven't had it in so long. Okay, so there are three and a half servings per container. I'm not even gonna be upset that they used to have serving. 80 calories per serving five grams of fat, zero carbs, and uh, eight grams of protein. I would say with all of the butter dust or some sort of dusting that's on here, I'd give this bag like one to two carbs. But regardless, when you get so much delicious salted butteriness, it's totally worth it. Okay guys, once again, shame on you if you thought that just because the keto crate was light in weight, that it was gonna be light in snacks, okay? Shame on you. No one, no one over here thought that. I knew, I knew that the keto crate was not gonna disappoint. And alas, they did not, okay? Like, so, oh my gosh. And how lot, it's so chippy. Oh my, look at all of this. This is going to be a savory and amazing smash the crate. Speaking of smash the crate, right? Look. Click the link in the description to get a discount to buy this keto crate. Worth it, worth it in and of itself. But if you want a chance to win this keto crate, then be sure to comment down below in this video and to let us know which of these products have you tried? Would you be most excited to try? And your comment will enter you in a chance to win this keto crate will draw the winner over on our smash the crate video where I, along with my husband and my mother, try all of these products. We're not just, we're not just showing them to you and putting them away. No, we have to dig in there. We've got to taste it and let you know if it's worth it. The good thing is I already know a bunch of these things are delicious, but there are also things never heard of, never tried. And so I'm excited to try. So comment down below, which of these items would you like to try or have you tried for a chance to win? <sighs> okay guys, another keto crate under the belt and it's just, it's the year, there's only up from here, right? Like, it's, it just keeps getting better and better. We'll see you over on Smash the Crate. Bye!